Hi, my name is Dr. Nick McQuana and I'm a consultant paediatrician at Sangwell and West Birmingham Hospitals. I'm also the clinical lead for the paediatric allergy service. Many children are referred to our service for eczema and parents wanting to know what their children are allergic to. It is important to understand that eczema is a primary skin problem, which means that the skin can't hold moisture in and dries out, leading it to becoming dry and itchy. Allergy is an immune problem whereby certain triggers will re re release chemicals in the bloodstream causing an allergic reaction. So the two things are quite separate. When you come to the clinic, we will talk to you about your symptoms and whether testing will be useful. So there are two types of allergy. There's what we call immediate type allergy, whereby after eating a food, within 30 minutes to an hour, you develop lip swelling, eye swelling, or a nettle type rash. This is a type of allergy that will also lead to anaphylaxis. Our skin tests and blood tests pick up this kind of allergy only. There is a separate kind of allergy whereby after eating a food, two to 24 hours later, you may develop worsening of your eczema. This is called a delay type allergy and there is no test for this type of reaction. What we would recommend you do is avoid the food for four weeks, followed by a reintroduction for four weeks and see if there's an improvement followed by a worsening of your symptoms. If that is the case, then a delay type allergy is diagnosed and we advise avoidance for at least three to possibly six months before trying the food again. It is important to understand that no testing, either blood or skin tests, would help in this scenario. The most important part of eczema management is using your moisturising creams correctly. They should be used at least four times a day for maximal effect, if not more often. Once or twice a day is often not enough. Also, depending on the severity of your eczema, we may give you the right strength of steroid to manage that. And it's important to understand that steroids reduce inflammation and the itch and help overall eczema control. So this will be very important to do as part of the management of the eczema symptoms. So understanding this, it is important to realise that once we've spoken to you, we may not do any further tests. And that is absolutely fine in the context of the history you give us. Obviously, we will make sure that you have a management plan to go home with to manage their symptoms appropriately, and we will arrange a follow-up if required.